The Wages of Destruction, The Making and Breaking of the Nazi Economy by Adam Tooze provides a comprehensive economic analysis of the Third Reich from its rise to power in the early 1930s to its downfall in 1945. Tooze challenges existing narratives and assumptions about the Nazi economy, offering a fresh perspective on the economic forces that shaped and ultimately destroyed Hitler's regime. The book begins by examining the economic situation in Germany after World War I, marked by the punitive Treaty of Versailles, hyperinflation, and the Great Depression. The economic turmoil of the Weimar Republic created a fertile ground for the rise of Adolf Hitler, whose promises of national revival included an ambitious program aimed at full employment and autarky, economic self-sufficiency. Tooze asserts that while the Nazis succeeded in significantly reducing unemployment through public works and rearmament, these projects were not sustainable in the long term and created immense financial strains. The early economic success of the Nazis was built upon unorthodox monetary policies and state intervention, with Yalmar Schacht, the president of the Reichsbank, playing a key role in managing the economy. Notably, the MIFO bills scheme enabled substantial off-the-books financing of armament. However, as Tooze points out, these methods were short-term fixes that exacerbated underlying structural problems, including a shortage of foreign exchange and raw materials. To overcome these material shortages, the Nazis embarked on a strategy of territorial expansion and economic plunder. The annexation of Austria and the dismemberment of Czechoslovakia were partly driven by economic motives providing access to resources and skilled labor. The conquest of key industrial and agricultural areas was envisioned to turn the Greater German Reich into a self-contained economic bloc capable of competing with the United States and the British Empire. Tooze highlights the inherent contradictions in the Nazi economic model. The regime aimed for a rapid expansion of the military apparatus while also striving to maintain civilian consumption and living standards. As the demands of rearmament intensified, the economy came under increased stress, and the Third Reich was ultimately forced into a conflict for which it was not fully prepared. The author then shifts to the outbreak of World War II, examining how the Nazi war machine was fueled and its economic limitations exposed. Despite initial military triumphs, such as the rapid conquest of France in 1940, the German economy was ill-equipped for a prolonged total war. Tooze meticulously details the wartime economic policies, including the extensive use of forced labor and the exploitation of the economies of occupied territories. The book dissects the industrial organization of the Nazi war effort, noting inefficiencies and the failure to fully mobilize the economy. Contrary to the assumption that the Nazi state was a model of efficient organization, Tooze argues that the economy was riddled with bureaucratic infighting, ideological constraints, and an inability to maximize production. He describes how Albert Speer, appointed as armaments minister in 1942, attempted to rationalize production and increase output. The Holocaust, Tooze underscores, was not simply a product of ideological fanaticism, but was also entangled with economic policy. The expropriation of Jewish property and the use of concentration camp labor were integral parts of the Nazi economic system. Furthermore, the regime's genocidal policies were closely linked to its imperial ambitions in Eastern Europe, particularly the plan to colonize the region and extract resources to sustain the German economy. As the tide of war turned against Germany, the economic pressures became insurmountable. The Allied bombing campaign severely disrupted industrial production and transportation infrastructure. The loss of territory, particularly in Eastern Europe and the Soviet Union, cut off vital supplies of food and raw materials. Tooze explains how the economic collapse contributed to military defeats in the East and the eventual Allied victory. The book concludes by highlighting the devastating consequences of the war for the German populace and the European economy at large. Tooze reflects on the eventual rebuilding of West Germany's economy under the Marshall Plan and the integration of Europe contrasting it with the destructive legacy of the Nazi economic and military policies. Throughout The Wages of Destruction, Tooze offers an in-depth and revisionist narrative, shedding light on the complex economic structures and decisions that underpinned the Third Reich. 
He dispels myths about the efficiency of the Nazi economy, illustrating how the regime's own economic policies contributed to its ultimate downfall. Through meticulous research and analysis, the book provides a sobering account of the inextricable link between economics and the horrors of war and genocide. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.